Hey, I'm Bailey Jackety. Um, I'm defensive lineman for Lake Forest Academy, and welcome to my school. The first time I ever stepped foot on campus was actually like with my dad. We both decided to. It was a April of my sophomore year. We decided to make the drive down and check the school out. So we got here around one o'clock in the morning. There's nobody here. It was dark. Sort of drove down the taxi drive. It's a long driveway. And when we finally got here, all we saw were, I mean, big historic buildings. And the first thing that popped to my mind was Hogwarts. Um, but I mean, when I walk around every day, it's sort of. I sort of like look around. Sometimes I'll like walk out the dorm and look around and be like, I'll ask myself, like, how did I end up here? <laughs> what exactly am I doing here? You know I mean, coming from a public school is just one of those places that you, it's sort of, it's one of those places that you dream about. You know, wouldn't never know it was there until you actually showed up there. Um, I'll pretty much started with basketball. Um, I was a basketball player in Canada. Uh, I played, I actually started playing basketball in the sixth grade. One of the goals, it was like a common goal for all the different players to get out of Canada and go to a prep school in the States only because it provided so much more exposure. And I mean, a lot of kids are after scholarships. Um, and I was after that same dream. So um, my head coach, Coach Stewart, he was actually in Canada, I guess, on like a school visit slash recruiting trip and got a hold of my parents. and. Him and my parents sort of talked about the idea of coming to Lake Forest Academy. At first, I wasn't, I wasn't too fond of it. Neither were they. Neither were they. But I mean, we sort of talked to him. Um, I talked to my parents, and we figured it could work to my advantage. And after a couple months, we finally filled that application. And I mean, I got in, and here I am now. And there's definitely more freedom, um, but with that much freedom comes responsibility so I mean it's definitely been uh, it's been something that's helped me grow up a little um, not having my parents around to do everything for me like laundry <laughs> um, laundry like buying my own toiletries just all the little things that you never really think about that your parents take of take care of you got to start doing yourself um, I mean being away from family is always hard but you get used to it after a while you sort of become more independent in that way I mean, other than that, um, I feel like for a lot of the boarders, myself and a lot of the boarders here, it's definitely a positive experience. Um, it, helps, it helps you in a lot of aspects of life. Um, it was extremely unexpected. I was actually, my first offer ever was Eastern Michigan. I had no idea who they were. Um, I really didn't know, have any idea what any colleges in America were or who they were, what their programs were like. So, I mean, it was just my coach, Coach Stewart, he came to me at lunch one time and he said, Eastern Michigan wants to offer you a scholarship. And I had no idea what he meant like, by then. And he explained, he's like, they want to pay for college. And I was like, well, that's great. You can tell my parents too. And I was really excited about that. And he's, he told me to settle down, that it, there'd definitely be more coming. I mean, I had no idea what he was talking about at the time, but now I do, obviously. He's, he's really taken on um, this process really done a great job at, um, at, at looking at all the schools, um, uh, researching, um, figuring out kind of, you know, not only what the best fit for him is, but, but also um, where he's going to succeed, you know. Um, and so it's kind of changed where, you know, I think as a 10th grader, you know, he got offered at Illinois uh, fairly early uh, in the spring of his, of, of his 10th grade year. And, and it's progressed from, I want to, you know, go to a place that's warm or go to a city or go to, you know, the place that has the prettiest girls. And it's gone from that to um, where am I going to feel most comfortable socially? Where am I going to succeed both academically and athletically? And, you know, it's, so I've been pretty proud of him. It's been pretty exciting the past two years. Um, I've been extremely grateful for many of the opportunities that I've had come my way the past two years. Um, after a lot of thinking and delegating, um, a lot of visits taken, taken much traveling, um, finally came to a decision last night, actually. But yeah, overall, it's been real stressful. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I made a decision now. It's finally over with. And... I'm happy to say that next year I'll be attending the University of Iowa.